students, how are you? I hope you are all doing good. Welcome back to our science class. So let me introduce myself first. My name is Teacher Yan and I'll be your science teacher. So today, we're gonna learn a new lesson. So I want you to listen carefully until the end. Okay, so are you ready? So if you're ready, let's go. So our lesson for today is all about our body. Okay, it's all about our body. But before we proceed, let's watch this video first. Body, body, bop, bop, body, bop, bop. Touch your eyes, touch your nose, body, body, bop, bop, bop. Touch your mouth, touch your ears, body, 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 bop. Body, body, bop, bop, body, bop, bop. Body, body, bop, bop, body, bop, bop. Wiggle your arms, wiggle your legs, body, body, bop, bop, body, body, bop, bop. bop. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, body, 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 bop. Body, body, bop, bop, body, bop, bop. Okay, so before we proceed, we have to learn some vocabularies for you to better understand our topic, okay? So our first word is human. Can you say that with me? Human. Okay, good job. For our second word, it's body. Body. And the last word is hands. Hands. Okay, so let's go back to our topic, which is the parts of the body. Now, we are going to learn about the different parts of the body, which includes the outer parts and the inner parts. So let's start with the outer parts. Outer parts means the organs that we can see. Okay, for example, we have ear. Ear. Can you touch your ear? Can you touch your ear? Good job. First, let us spell the word ear. E A R. Ear. Okay. How many ears do you have? One, two. One, two. Two ears. Now, we use our ears to listen. We use our ears to listen to music, to listen to someone who is talking, to listen to our parents. Okay? Next, we have eyes. Eyes. How many eyes do you have? We have one, two. Can you touch your two eyes? Good job. Okay, so let's spell the word eyes. E Y E S eyes. Good job. Okay, so we use our eyes to see. We use our eyes to see everything that is around us. Okay, again, we have two eyes. Humans have two eyes. So next. We have our nose, okay? Can you touch your nose? Can you touch your nose? Okay, so let's spell the word nose. N-O-S-E. Nose. Okay, so we use our nose to smell. We also have our mouth. Okay, let's spell the word mouth. M O Q T H mouth. Okay, can you touch your mouth? It's here. This is your mouth, right? So we use our mouth to eat. So next, we also have our arm. It's called arm. It's called arm okay let's spell the word arm a r m arm and of course we also have 
hand. Okay, hand. Let's spell the word hand. H A N D. Hand. Okay, how many hands do you have? How many hands do we have? One and two. Two hands. I have two hands. Next, we have our leg and foot. Our legs and feet. Okay, so we use our foot, we use our feet to walk. How many feet do we have? We have two feet and two legs. Okay, so those were the outer parts of our body. Those that we can see. We can see with our eyes. Now... Let's move on to the inner parts. This includes the organs inside our body. They are inside our body. We cannot see them. Now, let's start. Okay, so let's start with brain. Okay, can you say that again? It's brain. Okay, so the brain is located inside our head. Okay, it's located inside our head. So, let's spell the word brain. B-R-A-I-N. Brain. Okay. So, the brain makes the whole body works. It keeps us to think and feel. So, that is the use of our brain. Okay. So, next, we have our heart. Okay. We only have one heart. Let's spell the word heart. H E A R T. Heart. Okay. It's inside our left chest. So it is the organ that pops blood into our body. Okay. It is the body's blood popper. So next, we also have our lungs. Okay. Lungs. Now, we have two lungs and it is also located inside our body so let's spell the word lungs again l u n g s lungs the lungs clean the air that we breathe it is the air cleaner of the body we also have our stomach stomach can you say that again stomach Let's spell the word stomach. S-T-O-M-A-C-H. Stomach. Okay, so it grinds the food that we eat. It is called the food grinder of the body. Okay? And of course, we have the intestines. Intestines. Can you say that again? Intestines. Okay, let's spell the word intestines. I-N-T-E-S-T-I-N-E-S. -E -E intestines. Okay, so it absorbs the nutrients from the food that we eat. That is the function of our intestines. Okay, so those were the outer parts and the inner parts of our body now let's have a review are you ready okay so let's start with number one so this is number one how do you call this outer part of the body this is the eye it is the eye okay good job what about number two? Number two is this one. How do you call this one? It's the ear. Good job. It's our, it's the ear. And number three, this one is called, this one is the nose. Good job. The nose. And of course, the part that we use in eating. This one is called mouth. Okay, good job. What about number 
What about number five? What is this part again? This is called arm. Okay, good job, students. And also this one. We use this one to grasp things. This is called what? This is called hand. Okay, the hand. And of course, uh, this part that we use in walking is called or we call this leg and the foot. This is the leg. This is the foot. Okay, so those are our outer parts. Now, let's go to the inner parts. Okay, so let's start with number eight. This is called the brain. Okay, brain. And number nine, it is located on the left side, chest. It's called heart. Okay, heart. Heart. Okay, next, number 10. The two organs that cleans the air that we breathe, this is called lungs or these are called lungs okay what about number 11 where is it it's located here here it's called stomach stomach and of course the last one the last one we have intestines okay intestines so those were the outer parts and the inner parts of the body. Okay, so now it's time for our activity. So, on your science book, you open that to page 22 and you can see this activity. It says there, tick the parts of our body. Tick the parts of our body. Okay, let's take for example, number one. This is I, right? I. Now, is it a part of a body? Yes or no? It's If it's part of the body, then you are going to tick the circle right here. Okay, can you see the one? You have to tick the circle if it's part of the body. Did you get that? Okay, so let's move on to number two. Number two is ear okay it's ear is it part of the body yes or no tick or not tick it is a part of the body good job okay so let's proceed to number three look at number three it's a wing it's a wing of a bird do we have a wing is it part of our body Yes or no? No. Okay, good job. It's not part of the body, so leave it blank. Okay? What about number four? Okay, so two hands. Two hands. Is it part of our body? Yes or no? It's yes. It is part of our body. Of course. And of course, number five, we have feet. Okay, feet. We use our feet in walking. Okay, of course, it is part of our body. Okay, good job. And what about number six? Okay, so you can see here, legs and feet. Oh, look at that. Is this what our legs look like? Is it part of our body? Yes or no? It's not part of our body. Good job because it's legs and feet of a horse, right? They're for animals. And number seven, we have nose. Nose. Is it part of our body? It's yes, it's part of our body. For number eight, we have ears. Whose ears are those? Are they part of our body? They are not part of our body because they are ear of an animal, right? So, so we have number one, the eyes. Number two, ears. 
or ear. Number four, hands. Number five, feet. And number seven, nose. Okay, did you get it right? Okay, good job, students. Now, for your homework, you can find that on page 26 of your science book. You open your books to page 26 and you can see this one. Okay, so what you're going to do here is you have to label the different parts of the body of this girl. Okay, like for example, this one. This one, what part is this? What part of the body is this? What part of the body is this? And this and this and this. Okay, so you have to write your answers here. Okay, so that is the end of our discussion. So don't forget to answer your homework because I'm gonna check those when you go back to school. Okay, keep safe, have a great day and goodbye. Goodbye.